Hi there, this is uh, One Gun Girl, and today we are going to do a little Dutch oven cooking. I'm actually doing it on uh, my charcoal grill, but I've done it out in the woods. You can use rocks and build things up and whatever you want. Um, I always start with some coals on the bottom. I actually threw in a little bit, about half a tablespoon of butter, and I always kind of tend to do that a little bit and we're going to be making a little bit of a chicken dinner but I got a horrible glare going trying to move here with the sun coming down wasn't doing this a minute ago of course but anyway I'm going to add um, approximately a half a pound of bacon save the other half for breakfast or something in the morning and just kind of start to cook that up and what I did is I just cut it up with the scissors kitchen scissors with that bacon you can hear it sizzling and now I'm gonna have to do this video in two parts because my smartphone isn't very smart and does not have a pause button on recording but so be it so this will be part one and I can already smell that bacon, boy. Now, if they only had the smell videos, we'd be doing all right. But what we're going to do is we're going to cook this up a little bit here. And then I went ahead and I cut up some onion that I'm going to add to it. About a quarter of a... Um, large walla walla which is what we generally grow out here and at least for now on the west coast here until we get moved but you can already see I don't know if you can tell but it's definitely starting to brown up a little bit now before I set the grate on here I went ahead and I put some coals aside that are going to be for the top. It's important you have those because if you don't, you are uh, gonna, your cook time isn't going to be as thorough. It's going to take much longer. There's nothing like the smell of onions and bacon. Hooey. Okay. Now. What we're going to end up doing is I've got four chicken breasts. That was the last of the chicken breasts that we slaughtered this year, but you can use store-bought. I cut them in half because ours are pretty good size. Um, but honestly, you can technically, with this recipe, you can add, subtract, I mean, whatever your needs are, we typically, you know, cook for anywhere from four to eight people at a time just depends on who stops by and if not well make great leftovers and even if you're camping or out in the woods you know just wrap it up in foil and keeps real good you can open it up the next day for a, a lunch or whatever even cold or heated So we got to have this cooked down for a few more minutes here, and then we're going to be adding that chicken. Now, probably pretty close here. Now, as you can see, um, for me that was four chicken breasts that I um, cut each breast in half. So, see if I can get that dumped off without dumping it all over the place. Now, remember I added a little bit of that butter uh, in the beginning, and that's to help it not stick so much, because that chicken breast will want to, but that bacon is going to help it as well. Oh, that sun is bright. Okay, so I don't use a lot of uh, fancy fancy ingredients really most of the time. A couple of things. 
smidgen of salt. Nothing, whoa, nothing uh, too spectacular about that. A little bit of uh, black pepper. And I occasionally will use some Old Bay. Because I like it. Sometimes garlic. However, I didn't bring it out here, and oh well. So it's smelling really good here. I'm going to keep stirring this up a little bit more, so I know it's going to work. Which I think we're good now. And I washed and uh, poked holes in four potatoes. He's literally setting them on top. And then all I gotta do is get this lid here. I'm gonna stick that on top. And of course I need those coals. I'm just dumping it like that. Hopefully you can see with the sun. And they don't have to be perfect, you know, just random around there. And in about 15 minutes, I am going to come back and I am going to add about a half a cup, sometimes a little more, but generally about a half a cup to a cup of water. I usually end up with only like half a cup. And, oh, my lid still. And, um, let's see here. There we go. All right. And then we're good. So um, I'll do that, and I will come back on part two when it's just getting done, and we'll take a look and see how it turned out. Thanks.